Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, The Big Belly Diaries. Um, today I'm going to be showing everybody how to make Vapianos in the comfort of their home. This was my attempt, give it a go, tell me what you think, tell me if it worked out for you. Disclaimer, yeah? I'm not a chef, I'm not Gordon, I'm not Jamie, I'm not Barefoot Contessa, I'm none of those people. I'm just someone who likes food and is cooking and really, really likes Vapianos. Simple, that's it. If I can make this recipe, trust me, you very well can as well. <laughs> I'll tell you that from now. Right, so let's get started. To make this, recipe for Vapianos. This is a dish called Polio Picante. It's an orange and chili tangy kind of pasta. It's so nice. Um, they're removing it from the menu. This is why I was left with no choice but to make it myself. I'm starting off by chopping up two chicken breasts into bite-sized pieces, okay? We don't want the pieces too big. We want the pieces bite-sized. Now add your chicken to a bowl and now it's time to season it. I wanted to add a bit more but Vapianos don't go too crazy so I wanted to do what they do. So add salt and pepper to the bowl. Mix it together, massage that with your hands. This is why I'm wearing gloves because I don't like it when people massage up my food and they ain't wearing gloves because you don't know what's behind your nails. It's just best. Wear rubber gloves, people. Right, now, chop up your peppers, yeah? I've got red pepper, green pepper, yellow pepper. You can do any colour you want, all of one colour, all of the other. I just wanted each colour because I wanted to add a bit of colour to the plate. So, yeah, chop up them peppers. Make sure the cores have been removed as well. No one wants pepper core in their pasta. Now, time to add, yeah, I think it's called pan cabbage. Oh, hold on, let me double check for you. Let me double check because I don't want to give y'all the wrong thing. It's called Napa cabbage, that's it. I'm adding Napa cabbage to this pasta because normally they add pog choy to this recipe, but I couldn't find any. So um, Napa cabbage is a good substitute. We want the crunchy part, so the stem and the center of the leaves. We don't want the leaves, but don't throw the leaves away because we don't waste food around here. You can use it in another dish. But right now we want the crunchiness. So we're going for the center of the leaves and the bottom of the leaves. add some garlic so we're going to chop up two cloves of garlic little hack by the way for your garlic um to easily peel the skin off chop the both ends off and then the skin kind of automatically opens for you to peel back um i don't know why i'm using this big boy knife for them little garlics it's so extra i could have very easy just used a crusher yeah cut those as thin as possible um try and mince them if you've got a mincer like i do i don't know why i didn't just use that and once you've chopped up your garlic you're going to start chopping up your hot chilies yeah i've got red hot chilies of course if you don't want to add chili you don't have to if you want to add more chili by all means i like spicy food so i just added a whole chili you want to chop that chili into small pieces and just have that ready to throw into the pan. Right, so now you're gonna set your water to boil. Now that your water's boiled, add a bit of salt and add your pasta. I added tagatelli, of course you can add any pasta that you would like. Just make sure the pasta is fully submerged. Now for the sauce, heat up some olive oil in a pan. I use a wok because I just prefer using a wok and add your chopped up chicken pieces into the pan and allow them to sizzle and start browning. Um, um, as you can just see, I just added the cloves of garlic as well. So add your garlic to the chicken as well because we want that to start 
all letting out all this flavour. Start what's the word? Start sweating, sweating, sweating. That is such a that is such a dead word to use for food. You know, let the food sweat. That is weird. Let's I'll come up with another name for that one day because that needs to be changed, mate. Anyway, so you want to let that start browning, let that start cooking. Um, you can always check if the middle of the check if the middle of your chicken is cooked. Now take off your pasta and drain that. I forgot about it. I'm not gonna lie to you. So mine overcooked a bit, but just keep an eye on your pasta. Once your chicken is done, yeah, you're gonna add your peppers, your chilies. That is all cooked together. You're gonna add your a fourth a cup of chili sauce, hot sweet chili sauce. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't measure it because I just like to do things by eye. I think everything's by taste. Now the main part is pasta essential. I know it's weird, but you're gonna add half a cup of orange juice to the pan, yeah? When I say this orange juice elevates the thing, yeah? Woo! Starts all smack delicious. Couple and now you're gonna add whether you have pok choy or you have the cabbage, you're gonna add that to the pan. You don't wanna overcook that because like I said, you want that to be a bit crunchy and have a bit of bite. Now add your pasta. Just gonna add that in the pan, start mixing that about. Add a quite short taste. I added a bit more orange juice and a bit more sweet chili sauce than the recipe actually said. I just kept adding until it tasted how I wanted it to taste. You can always do that. Look at me showing off my techers with the flick of the wrist. Anyway, so you just want to turn it all together, make sure it's all cooked, leave that to simmer and let the pasta absorb the sauce. Once it's done that, top that thing with cheese. Top that with cheese and dig in. Enjoy. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and tell me what you guys would like for me to cook next. Bruh!